Welcome back to the channel, it's Martin here, your vlogster. How you all doing? Hope you are all well. So, flying solo tonight. I love this wee run. So, catch back up after the intro, and I'll tell you where I'm going. Welcome back. I'm making my way to Maidens. It's one of my favourite destinations. I love the run to get there and the peace and tranquility. So by the time you've seen this video I'll probably have launched maybe one or two videos but before that I kind of had a break for a couple of weeks I found myself well what happened was I found myself in a really strange position so what basically happened was a couple of weeks ago I'm about four or five six videos in front say so I've got I've got six weeks worth just for arguments sake so I decided to change my PC so start building a new one which is now completed no issues with that whatsoever and what happened after I built it I just lost the desire to get right I don't know why. I'd cleaned the bike, I'd cleaned the chain, I'd done all the usual stuff. Put the bike away and then I don't know what it was. Just didn't want to do it. Didn't want to get in the bike. Didn't want to make content. So I've been sitting in kind of limbo for two weeks. Really, this is my kind of first time out, so hence why Maidens comes into it. I just find the place really peaceful. Let's see what answers I come up with. But and people saying to me, "You coming out? You coming out? You coming out?" No, I'm like, nah. Don't want it. Don't feel it. surrounded by really good roads there you go look at that hey <laughs> that's what I'm talking about back to what I was talking about so I'm heading here tonight to find my happy place. Alright lads. See if I can get my mojo back. If that's the right word. Don't know if it is. But once I get popped up, gather my thoughts, I'll switch the cameras back on and I'll tell you a wee bit more about it. So there's a couple of laybys up here, that's where I'll pull in. I'll get some photographs. I'll gather my thoughts. And then I'll get back to you. Look at that, it's outstanding. So there it's there. Nippin. <laughs> Try and get some decent pictures. My 
way the camera's running at the moment. Right, he's ready for this. Apart from this car coming to spoil it, we'll wait till it's by. So, look at that. No lesson. How good's that? Cause in castle as I go buy it to get into maidens. Outstanding place. Comes a bike. Is he gonna pull in? He's taking his time. So, bike's looking good, so I'll catch back up with you to continue. So two weeks, and they've been on the bike. Brilliant. Here. Sorry, I'm getting distracted having a wee bit of fun. Yeah, so other doubts started coming in my mind. David YouTube. Channel, is it worth it? Because there is it's a sizeable amount of effort and your time goes into it. This is probably not the best any road to talk to you in. I'll slow down. So, started thinking about that regarding the YouTube channel. Then I started thinking of getting rid of the bike, putting it up for sale. But I wasn't going to buy another one for this season. I was going to take the whole season off and take a break for it. Made the decision I was coming out tonight, but I was going to come out solo to gather my thoughts. To see what the next step forward is. So sitting up there looking at the coastline. Because my passion for riding and how I felt about it for the the moment I passed my test has been no fantastic. My desire to create content and put it in the channel, so I'm building my journey, my life on the bike. I'm now four years in. My desire to show people the places I go, who I talk to, who I spend time with. Some personal things chucked in there about my life and what I've went through. These are on previous videos, what biking means to me, the me time aspect of it, when it's just you and the bike. These are the things that make you get up each day and go to your work. You might not enjoy your work, it could be stressful. Could be a lot of things because you've got this to go to. This is what you work for. It's what you spend time with your family for. 
when it becomes your time, or as I call it, my video's me time, it's just about you. It's just about what I want to do. Once again, Little K's Kitchen, my favourite wee spot in Maidens. We've got Turnberry just along the road, but this is a place for a rolling slice and a good cup of tea or coffee. Right, this is turning out to be a long video. I'll catch back up with you after I've had a wee cup of coffee. Welcome back. That's me. Head back along the coast. Going to take on a couple of back roads just to <coughs> let loose a bit. Progressive, I think so. word. Progressive riding. So, I'm set to go. I've had my coffee, put the Insta360 on the side, see what it captures, just let that run till it runs out, it's probably about 20 minutes on it. <laughs> How you got on the bike without kicking it? <coughs> so, Let's be doing it. Camera's on, bugs are off it. Who is it Lockwood said the other day it's bug season? Most definitely is. But anywho, back to this, back to the topic. So, kind of told you everything. So what I'm thinking is, is that me finished as a YouTuber? That's the burning question. Am I finished as a YouTuber? Should I stop? Should I sell the bike? Take the season? Without a bike. This was what tonight's run was all about. Should I stay or should I go? Should I sing that for Lockwood? Should I stay or should I go now? So I've had a cracking run tonight, flying solo. I've really enjoyed it. If you're still watching the video, hit the like button. So that's really it. So I've done my run tonight, I've had my me time. I went to a place that I enjoy going to. Calms me down. Makes me feel better. Shout out in the comments. To anybody that's ever felt this way about the bike, whether it's YouTube, biking, content creation, today we're biking. And the second question, am I finished? Is that me? Done.